Sacramento is facing some backlash after council members gave the OK to the city budget last night. That budget includes record totals for police, though many say some of that money could have gone to address the homeless crisis. As Fox 40's Kristen Vartan reports tonight, some of the criticism is coming with, from within the council itself. Council members Maple, Valenzuela and Bang put out a joint statement expressing their disappointment in the failure of that motion. I did speak with Council Member Maple today at City Hall and she said that homelessness needs to be more of a priority in the city and just steps away from our conversation. As you can see here, there is a line of encampments on the street, a really common sight in the city. The people who make this city and pay their taxes and pay our business taxes and pay everything so this city can operate are afraid to go outside because of what happens on our streets. Jim Bowman says he's only seen the tents on this street in downtown multiply. And with it, the need to make calls to 311. That's the Department of Community Responses line that responds to non-crime crises. 911 will respond, but and then they charge us, so we now call 311 and they usually can't respond until the next day. It's an issue City Council Member Katie Maple says has dominated 90% of phone calls and emails from her own constituents. But I can tell you without a doubt that the most important issue in Sacramento is, is homelessness and our response to homelessness. It's why Council Member Maple made the motion to reallocate over $6 million from police department vacancies she says were expected not to be filled this year to the Department of Community Response. We're transferring over the calls for service that are coming in for homelessness, for mental health and other issues that are not related to the police. We're actually taking that off of your plate. Mayor Pro Tem Vang. Yes. And Mayor Steinberg. No. Uh, on, the, on the main motion. But in a 6-3 vote, the motion was defeated. Mayor Steinberg was one of the six. We need a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more data and a little bit more confidence that we're bringing the sides together. Another dissenting vote, Councilmember Sean Loloi. He tells Fox 40 in a statement, we have spent the past two years funding ideas that have failed us. It's past time for us to start funding results. It is time for the city to get back to our lane and place and increase focus on the criminal activity and gun violence that is spiraling out of control in our neighborhoods. What is hurting certain communities is lack of law and order. We had seven people that got shot in my district in one night. Maple thinks the reallocation of funds to DCR could have helped in addressing both 911 and 311 calls. Their jobs are to respond to crime. Um, and so when our police officers are responding to calls for homelessness, calls for mental health cases, that means they're not responding to crimes. And the Sacramento Police Department did send me a statement saying in part, the $6 million you're inquiring about is critical funding to the staff, the appropriate amount of officers to respond to call for service generated by our community, end quote. And as I mentioned, even though Mayor Steinberg did vote no on this motion, he does want the Department of Community Response to be more of a priority next year. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Kristen Barton, Fox 40 News.